We'll check, check in uh, with what's happening in Libya right now because a mistake in Libya, NATO mistake, is giving a big PR boost this morning to Muammar Gaddafi's regime. This morning, NATO admits that an air raid on Libya's capital, Tripoli, killed civilians on Sunday. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi is in Tripoli with more. The strike is the first clear evidence that NATO has actually hit civilian targets and presented the Libyans with a chance to put their case in a way that exceeded their wildest propaganda efforts. The power of the explosion blew a double-story dwelling to a heap of concrete chunks of rubble and twisted reinforcing bars. NATO said its planes were targeting what a statement called a missile site operated by pro-Qaddafi forces. It appears that one weapon did not strike the intended target due to a weapons system's failure. A frantic rescue operation pulled out no survivors. The Libyan officials said nine people died in the blast and 18 were injured. The site was in the middle of the Souk El Juma area of Tripoli, a suburb known for its anti-regime sentiments. Several people quietly told journalists who were rushed to the scene various versions of how military sites were nearby, but government officials stressed the civilian side. There is no military compound, no command center. Why should they bomb a place like this? That's a question that will likely add even more strains to the alliance, which is already under pressure because the campaign to oust Colonel Muammar Gaddafi is taking more time and costing more in resources than anyone predicted. The attack is a major propaganda boost for the Gaddafi regime, which has consistently maintained that civilians are being killed while presenting little credible evidence. We hold uh, Prime Minister Cameron, President Sarkozy and President Obama Prime Minister Berlusconi legally and morally responsible. The minister also called for a jihad against NATO and what he called Western aggressors. But spokesmen were later at pains to stress that jihad in this case did not in any way imply terrorism. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Tripoli.